Prelude is the first FLNG project in the world. That means uh, for the first time we put an LNG facility on a floating structure and produce LNG offshore. It is located in a hurricane uh, area, uh, offshore Australia. That means that uh, you have the biggest structure in the world located in an area where you have the largest storms in the world. Meaning you need a mooring system that is very strong. That is what SBM is building. So at the moment, as you see, the structure is complete or thereabouts. But what's currently missing, and judged by the sunlight above us, is the turret module itself, which will be coming in and by and integrated with the main substructure. And that's the part that does all the anchoring, the mooring, and has all the rises, the flexible rises, which accommodate all the gas, oil, which enter the facility. Well, it's an enormously challenging project. Just by sheer size, it's pretty much twice the size of anything we've built before, brings a huge amount of no novelty. It will have to contend and survive five or six major weather events each year, and it's designed to withstand a 10,000 year storm on location without disconnecting. Drydox has delivered uh, five modules of uh, Shell Prelude FLNG turret mooring system. Turret mooring system, all five modules weigh over uh, 10,000 tons and it has been a great challenge for dry docks to deliver such a big structure with uh, such a demanding quality requirements. During the construction of the turret mooring system, dry docks has executed three loadouts from the key side to the transportation vessel. Heaviest of them was uh, 5,000, around 5,000 tons. Delivery of module five the, represents the crown jewel of this project because this module is the uh, heart of the turret all the control systems of the turret are into this module and this module is actually first phase of the gas production for FLNG facility. Dubai is world known for uh, their record, record breaking in the construction projects. This world largest turret for the world largest floating structure for the world, world's first FLNG facility is one of the contributions of dry docks towards the continuation of record breaking of Dubai as well. The weight of the module is, uh, together with the trailers, is uh, 3,300 tons. Um, it will take five minutes to get it to the quayside, and it will take two hours to get all the all the trailers on the on the um, on the vessel. Then it will take another hour to get it to the final uh, location. It's, um, uh, it's another big milestone. Uh, the main one, of course, we've got after this is Module 5 right next to us here. Uh, we've got a lot of work to go on here, but we had a good team working here, so it's been, uh, it's been nice, it's been good. The FPD process was embraced with great importance right after signing of the contract, wherein the project management team, along with the production trades and quality departments, sat down together to chalk out a plan and train our people. We did about 11 kilometers of exotic pipe welding, 40 kilometers of structure welding, and a painting which was sustained by itself for 25 years. All of this could not have been a reality if not for following this process of FPD on a project. There were many uh, training courses which were introduced and our workers went through it. More than 1,000, more than 6,000 of them, they did uh, safety induction and many other courses. 
I really thank SBM Technip Shell for their uh, cooperation and for making us a part of their success. The time has come for celebration as we prepare for sail away of the lost module for FLNG. Thousands of workers from 50 nationalities, they worked relentlessly to produce this, this marvel of engineering and production. And what makes me really feel proud is that we weren't more than 5 million man hours without any LTI or without any incident worth mentioning. I'm very pleased to announce that on June 25th, we are delivering the largest and the most sophisticated turret ever built in the world. We have signed the contract in February 2014, and now we have fulfilled our commitment to deliver safely and on schedule and the quality demanded by the clients. We'd like to thank our client SBM and the end clients Technib and Share for their trust and support for us to prove our capability as one of the trusted offshore fabrication facilities in the world. With this successful delivery, we have made our presence felt in the offshore industry, and we can confidently say that Drydock's World Dubai is in for the long run. <laughs>